Eduardo Dantas, as a champion, has grown up in the Bellator cage. We've seen him almost from the beginning. The flying knee knockout of Wilson Hayes really put him on the map. That made a lot of people go, whoa, this kid is something special. And then he wins the title. Zach Mikoski, up until that point, when he fought Eduardo Dantas, had been dominant had blown guys away, really great at control, the wrestling, his submission game was really his ace in the hole, and Eduardo Dantas chokes him unconscious with an arm triangle choke. And everybody kind of stepped back and went, man, this kid can dominate this division for years. Then he defeats his mentor, Marcos Galvan, very emotional fight, knocked him out. Then he takes on Joe Warren and he loses. He got out-wrestled, the fight was about heart, it was about guts and determination and, and will to win. And Joe Warren in that fight had more will to win and that stuck with Eduardo Dantas. I think after that, Eduardo Dantas went, I'm never gonna lack in determination again. I'm never gonna take anyone lightly again. I'm gonna take all this physical talent and combine it with a will that I just didn't quite have before. And since then, he's been on a tear. He wins the belt back, destroys Marcos Gamble. This time, no tears at the end. This time, it's not emotional, it's just business. Takes on Joe Warren and takes him apart, not just physically, but mentally. He was the guy clowning. He was the guy talking. He was the guy making the fight personal. First time we'd ever seen that. That trifecta of Marcos Galvan, Joe Warren, and Eduardo Dantes, he rose above it. He is alone at the top now. And that's where he wants to be, and that's where he's scariest. Our champ at 135, unquestioned, undisputed.